Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Ravi from Arshan Vlogs. Today I'm going to be doing another short food review vlog um, because you guys seem to love the last one so much. And I'm really excited about this one. It's going to be a frozen food this time. And I'll be filming uh, part of this vlog with a new uh, DSLR camera, so that should be better than some of my old vlogs, which were filmed just on my phone or on other cameras. So yeah, let's uh, jump right in. Okay, YouTube, so I'm um, uh, looking in the, in the freezer. And you guys said that's a kid cuisine. So yeah, I just wanted to take a quick look at this product for um, actually cooking it. It's got a, a real killer logo um, and a great little mascot. It's a, it's a penguin. And that is, that is the kid, I'm guessing. But it's not about that on this one because it's a Spongebob special edition with Spongebob shaped chicken breast nuggets and a sand sprinkle pudding, which I assume is part of the Spongebob theming, um, and you can see the Nickelodeon. So this is pretty much what it looks like um, right out of the box uh, frozen before reheating it, um, and again it's not that appetizing, um, but it's one of those simple tray um, TV dinner style meals. And right here on the box it has instructions for cooking this in a microwave oven and um, I believe there's also instructions for cooking this on a convection oven um, at 350 degrees. So I think I'm going to be using um, the microwave oven as that's the way it's most popularly um, prepared. So I just took the uh, film off that was covering it as instructed on the packaging and uh, it smells the way you would expect um, frozen chicken nuggets or frozen foods to smell. And now I'm going to remove the chicken nuggets and the, the graham cracker packet, which is advertised um, as sand sprinkles um, in this um, edition. It's also important, and I want to um, note that uh, it is advertised as using no artificial preservatives. So I guess I'm just going to put them over here on the film. And then I'm going to put the rest of the Kid Cuisine with that nice uh, uh, branding um, engraved in, or uh, raised right on that, uh, on that compartment. And I'm excited to see whether that's also on the other three um, parts of this tray. Anyway, I'm just going to put that in for a minute. So it's been about a minute, um, and it looks uh, good. I'm going to um, stir as the instructions um, outline to take it out and, and just give it a little stirring around. So I think it's just important to note that um, some of the macaroni and cheese from the macaroni and cheese compartment got into the chicken nugget compartment. Um, and so I'm just going to scoop that right back in there, but definitely don't like that. So now I'm just going to replace the chicken nuggets that I took out earlier, but I will not replace the packet of graham crackers um, crushed. Now this is uh, step number four on the instructions that are included on the box. While I'm waiting for uh, the food to microwave, I am also given an I Spy Bikini Bottom I Spy game that I can uh, preoccupy myself in. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop that right back in there like it was before, only this time it has the chicken nuggets.
Okay, so uh, put, it's been in there for a minute and 45 seconds as the instructions mandated. And um, I also let it cool for a while. Um, it says to let the pudding cool. It seems to have cooled. Um, and now I'm going to sprinkle some of the graham cracker uh, crumbs or sand. Alright, hey you guys, so I just um, tried some of the Kid Cuisine Bikini Bottom Chicken Breast Nuggets dinner um, and I'm gonna give you guys my review of it. Um, uh, let's start right off with the main course of the Chicken Breast uh, Nuggets, Bikini Bottom Chicken Breast Nuggets in fact, and I was a bit skeptical because um, they are a part of, it, it is a TV dinner um, type thing. Um, pre-prepared meal and um, chicken breast nuggets aren't exactly canon of the Spongebob Bikini Bottom. I don't think I've seen any chickens um, shown as living in Bikini Bottom and I think that that's what this implies. Um, so it kind of throws off the storyline a little bit. There was also a Spongebob shaped one on the that was advertised but I did not get them and um, and that's, you know, not their fault. That's, I understand how these things work. Um, and the nuggets were um, really good, really tasty. They had a great outer breading. Um, I ate them with a fork, but they could be a finger food, um, as is traditional in America on the cold side. But I understand that um, they don't want to try to make, uh, that Kid Cuisine um, Corporation wouldn't be uh, telling uh, parents or kids, I guess, if they're making this, to put it in the microwave so that it becomes too hot because they don't want to burn children. Um, and I think that's a really great thing that they're doing. And so, yeah, those chicken nuggets were, were just uh, fantastic, and I don't really have anything else to say about that. The mac and cheese was also just great. Uh, super creamy, um, not too overly flavored tasting, um, overly cheesy tasting. Um, just a really great mac and cheese. Super warm, but not like scalding hot, which is also great. The corn also tasted like real corn, really great, really juicy and uh, slightly buttery and salty. Um, just how you would like corn. And the pudding was um, maybe the best of all. The graham cracker um, crumbled up, advertised the sand um, for this special bikini bottom edition. Um, really complements the chocolate pudding and the chocolate pudding was uh, very warm and tasted great um, and uh, very sweet. So yeah, um, I would definitely rate this, um, you know, great five out of five stars. Definitely, I would definitely recommend this to anybody watching. And again, uh, I would love to try some of the other flavors of Kid Cuisine. Let's try to get this to 100 views. Um, if this gets to 100 views, I'll um, post another video reviewing another flavor of Kid Cuisine. And um, also don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, it really means a lot to me and I love, you know, having these subscribers and then growing this page out. All right, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, baby, no.